Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and in today's video we are doing spilling the tea on an English degree. <laughs> I have got my very good friend and fellow English course mate and English president Presidente. with with us with me today, uh, Joe. Hi. Say hello. I'm Joe. I'm normally in the vlogs. This is yeah. my first non-vlog. Yeah. Series, I think. If so, you yeah. watch the first vlogs, Joe was in all of all of them, pretty much. And then Ella week. stopped talking to me. No, I didn't. That's pretty much what that's happened. a dirty stanky lie. Dirty stanky lie. Um, but yeah, if you watch the first few vlogs, me and Joe vlog together a lot. I sang a lot. I wonder bit. if you if you remember Joe, comment down below because Thanks. you were in a lot of them. Yeah. You were the feature of a lot of them. A... So in today's video. We are basically going to be spilling the tea on, on an, English an English degree. And basically what that entails is now we've both graduated. Um, first gang. Both, both got first, first okay, gang. Don't leave me. Woo! <laughs> well, long. Um, yeah, so now we've both got firsts and everything. We've graduated. Yeah. Now, I guess we can really be honest with you about what an English degree is actually like. Brutally honest. Brutally honest. Brutal. This is going to be brutal, juicy. So brutal. We're going to be asking the real Brutalist. questions, being honest. And also, like, should you study English? I think is the overarching question. And I guess people who watch this want to know, like, is English something you should study? But well, hold that thought. Hold it. Hold it. Hold. hold. So, first question. I've written down a few questions, but I also headed over to Instagram to ask you guys sort of like, for a few guiding questions. And you guys definitely... Cracking questions. Yeah, cracking questions. You guys, yeah. guys haven't been through. Okay, so first question. Mm -hmm. I just know you're gonna. You know, I know you're gonna expose me. Um, okay, so the biggest question is that I get from a lot of people is how do you find the reading? <laughs> well, I feel like to find the reading, you actually have to do the reading. Yeah, I um, so. I feel like Joe's probably more equipped to talk on the reading side of things. I, I actually read the books. I yeah. I I'm gonna make a little bit of a confession. Throughout my whole degree, I didn't I didn't really read read the books. To be honest. Whoa! Calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke. Come yeah. on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't, don't yeah. really. I'm just gonna say. I am just gonna say one thing. I'm. I mean, I've got my grade now. The thing is, I've yeah. got my grade. They can't take that away from me. No, so no, I'm just gonna no. be honest. Um. I feel like you don't necessarily need to read um, every book. No, no shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I feel like you don't necessarily need to read every book to do well. Mm. Because I mean, I did really well, and I didn't read any of them. Which isn't disgusting, really. No, but it's, it's, it's like a flaw in the system. <laughs> it's a flaw. In, I feel like it's just a. Well, no, but I feel like I what I did, if I'm being honest, is I Brutally. there was a lot of spark notes. There was a lot of schmoop. Schmoop. You know, you schmoop. Fuck it's like an English Fuck. literature website. I really like study, have study guys on. Spark notes. Spark yeah. notes, oh, classic, sure. lit charts. Lit charts. It's another classic. Also, I, I, what I tended to do is I would just read like little passages from spark notes. So I look up a theme and then they have all like the passages that are related to that theme. And I'd literally just read the passages, the passages that they say are relevant. That's quite a smart way to do yeah. things. Or you could do what I did and read every read, single book. I didn't read every single book, but I even read the books. Yeah. That really I feel like you should talk about your experience. So, so I would say Joe is more of like an accurate representation of what like. And yeah, I'm sure you scored higher than me. I don't yeah, think I did. You might have done slightly, <laughs> which would be really upsetting. All I know is that Joe was that you were always reading. Yeah. Always, like yeah. you would always have a book in your hand yeah. or like in your bag. In my so how did you find the reading? I didn't. Well, I always say the thing I hate most about English is the reading. Yeah. Uh, which is a bit not 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 the mm. best uh, thing in the world. Um, I don't know. Like the problem with the reading is that there are like books you have to read that you absolutely don't want to read. Mm. I mean, you don't have to read them because I didn't. Yeah. But like <laughs> you know that you feel if you feel morally obliged to read. <laughs> And so you read yeah. them and you really don't enjoy them. It's just quite a drag, mm. really. Yeah. And then there, there are a few like good ones along the way that you're like, mm. oh, I'm really liking this. And then you discover a gem. Yeah. But, but like, they're very, very rare. I think um, the thing that frustrated me is just that because when you when it actually comes to like writing your essays, you only write on like max two or three. That's true. Out of like the 10 or 11, 12 books they, they like prescribe you. So I'm kind of like, if I'm gonna, if I was gonna read the books, 
I just don't see why it's it's so it's, I feel like reading is so time consuming. Well, like, do you know what I mean? I feel like it is so time consuming. If you're only going to write your essay on like two out of twelve books, then well, like, like we did one module in third year where it was two books a week, so that's twenty books, and that's one module. Yeah. Bear in mind, you're going to have three modules and at least one book a week for all of them. So that's how, how yeah. many books is that? That's a lot of books. That's a lot. We, we do yeah. English, not math. That's mm. a lot of books. No. Um, <laughs> you have to be sexy, and you have to be this, and you have to be that, and you have to be nice, and you have to... It's like, I can't be all those things at once. I'm a human being. Just... No, it is. And I feel like, I don't know, in my opinion, you just don't need to do it. You just don't need to do all that reading. Um, and also, can I say, I... It, I'm not gonna sit here and say it didn't come from like a lazy place. It didn't. It didn't come from a lazy place. It, no, no, at, it, first year it did. I'll admit, <laughs> first year it did. But then what I realised as I sort of go, start going through the degree is that you you actually don't need to do it all. You don't. And I think actually sometimes you can save yourself so much just time to do other things. Or do none of the books at all. <laughs> no, I no, didn't. I, what I, I did, I did not read the. Can I just say, I did not read the books. It was more like a work smarter, not harder, Selective and read thing. parts of the books. I didn't read, like, for example, like, you know, when I studied like the gothic, the gothic books, and I had to do mm. picture of Dorian Gray. I didn't mm -hmm. read it cover to cover, I didn't, I didn't but I watched. Know. I watched the plot summary. Yeah. Went on Spark Notes, looked at the key passages, and then I watched like I watched like I think I watched bits of the film, and then I was like. I know the plot now, so I don't need to read the whole book, I know the mm. narrative, I know how it goes, I know, I know the themes. Because I think in first year, I think everyone was like, you have to read every book every week. Yeah. Or at least some people were, that was the yeah. like, perception a lot of people had. But then you realise that... You don't, you know, you just Because sort of, at the end of the day, like you say, you're writing one or two essays yeah. on two, three, four of the books in yeah. a 10, 12, 20 book module. That's true, I'm sure you'd get more out of the... To be fair, I'm sure you'd get more out of the degree. <laughs> If but like, so, yeah, yeah, no, I could, no, but I completely agree yeah. with that. But I'm just saying, in terms of like, actually, at the end of the day, we've all got the same mark. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And when it comes down to it, we've all got the same mark. Mm. So, and that's that's what it comes down to. Okay. So next question: What's a typical day like? <laughs> well, there's the Ryan Perry day. So, so, then there's yeah. Ah, day. So, so yeah. So in a, a standard uni student day. <gasps> I feel like, um, yeah. I mean, first year I think it was a lot more intense than it is now. So yeah, now, first year was so intense, it yeah, didn't even count. Literally. So we had like, a 10 hour day, do you remember? Mondays. 8, 8, I'd go 8. Oh, it's probably 10, 10 hours. Hours. Yeah, it's 10 hours. Yeah, it's not, it's not 8 hours. Um, but like, we'd have a 9 a.m., 9 till 5, pretty much, which yeah. I've heard of. Like, I remember bizarre. every Monday, I to drag myself out of bed at like quarter past 8. It was, it was, it was bizarre as well, because it didn't count. Yeah. That was what was bizarre about Whereas it. Whereas second year and third year, it's a lot more chill. Like, yeah. I think this term I had like I don't know, seven contact hours a week, eight hours, if that, because if, if that, I was doing my dissertation as well. So like that day in my life, get out of Very bed good. at like Whenever. 10, 10. Don't, I do, yeah. do you know what? I can, I've barely set any alarms this year. That's how mm. little contact <laughs> hours I've had. I haven't had to set an alarm in the morning. It's just a case of you wake up. And it's case, it's case wake of naturally up. waking up, <laughs> and then when it maybe if you feel like it at some point during the week, I you might do some it. reading or work. Yeah, that's actually do you know the worst thing is it's the complete truth. Mm. Yeah, the brutally it's honest. The complete truth. truth. I mean, I, I mean, I think the only the only yeah. I think the upside though to having so little contact hours is it does give you give you so no, much yeah. freedom to do oh, other yeah. things. No, 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 for sure. So like. I probably wouldn't have had the time to do YouTube and Instagram and like social media if I didn't have so little work. Yeah, I couldn't have been British. British. Well, yeah, like Joe, president of the English Society, you know, but you wouldn't have time. You wouldn't have time no, to do no, it, would you? Because it's, it's a really had, time consuming if job. If I had like a science one that was like a nine to five. Yeah. Or if it was like first year. Well, yeah, where like it was. Josh's degree studies architecture, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Uh, yeah, ouch. We bet he does have to build buildings. It's a bit different to reading books. Right, but, um, right poems. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, basically it's different, different every day. Okay, next question. Is it a difficult degree? What do you think? See, I'd say yeah, but like I look at some sort of. I know I have a friend who does neuroscience, mm. and he like he could work to my same level and would get a two two or whatever, just because it's the content so much yeah. harder. Whereas he's as smart as me mm. on that level, but you have to be so much smarter. Yeah, for that. it's true. Whereas I think there is a way to do well in English when you figure out how to write an essay. Yeah, properly. that's what it is. It's like um, a. Once you've worked it out, I feel like in first year it's a lot of figuring it out, but once yeah. you work out how they want you to write... Like the difference from an A level one to... A... I think, I genuinely think it's about the way you write, yeah. rather than your, your knowledge. I think if you can word 
your argument in the right way yeah and you, like you you do the things that they like you to do then it's pretty i'm not gonna say easy i'm not gonna say the word easy because it's not easy but it's like it's formulate form, formulaic is that the word formulate that's not a word that is a word formulaic yeah, formulaic. yeah i feel like yeah once you figure out like how they want you to write and it's nothing like an a-level essay by the way absolutely nothing Zilch. it's not like it's not like a balance it's not like a scales with two sides it's, it's not just not one two three what it is is it's your argument and if you bring in a counter argument you have to absolutely bash it into the ground and like just just credit it in every in every way yeah it's your argue it's your way or the highway yeah do you know what i mean yeah. it is yeah, isn't it whereas an a-level it's, it's, it's like they think this the other person thinks this yeah in, in university, it's like this is the this is this is the point. But then you go and, you go you know? find the really obscure critic who says something that's definitely not true. Yeah, <laughs> just to yeah, no, it, it is. You have to you have to get like a critic who's obviously really just on acid or yes. something. Really, okay, that's just... that's why I hate it. like that. That yeah. fact that I would just have to go and find a critic that makes no sense just yeah. to get a tick for it critics. It is. It is just that's, so I can argue with them. That's and the, but do you know what, also I, I think you'll probably relate to this. We never yeah. even talked about this, but you know when like you want to find a critic to agree with you, mm. and you'll be reading their essay and you'll find one sentence where they say exactly <laughs> just what you want them to say, the like the ignoring the rest of their argument really. But it'll mm. be like it'll be something like I don't know. Um, what say for example with Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman is is the pinnacle of feminism in our generation just i'll literally take that sentence and i'll go mm. you know barnes said this but like the next sentence that's exactly could be, what i wanted but the next to say be like but she's a bad role model to me yeah <laughs> like, it could be yeah. something like that but you've got that one but it's sentence. just it's that you just want that perfect you literally you already know what you want them to say isn't it yeah. you, you start you start reading these things you you look you know the sentence you're just gonna for. google till you find a critic that yeah which is probably another weakness. It's so it? true, yeah. isn't it? I've never even thought about that. No, that's. I feel like I go, I go into reading looking for sort of like a particular, a particular oh, yeah, point no, of view. I, I do. It's quite, it's quite bad. It's... But that's what it is, though. Like forming your own arguments and own perspective, and not. True. But it's what I quite like about. It. It's probably the thing I like most. The, the freedom the, of it. Yeah, yeah, how I can take an essay in any yeah. direction I want it to. That's true. Do you regret studying English? <sighs> I. Do you know what? Why? Do, why, do you know would, what? why would you? What no. would you have done instead? Well, no, that's the thing. I don't... You go ask yourself, what would you have yeah, done instead? Yeah, I don't regret studying it because at the end of the day, I might not be where I am now if I hadn't studied it. But if I'm being totally honest, I feel like all the skills that I've learned that I'll take with me into the workplace, I haven't learned from my degree. Like writing, writing, fair enough, I'm a better writer. I'll take that. I'm a better writer. My analytical skills are better. I'm more critical, I suppose, of things. Critical But like practical skills that I can actually like like put on my CV yeah. and say like you know I, I say I don't know you know practical skills I I just I just wouldn't say I've got that from my degree mm. but I don't think I regret studying it because I don't know what I would have done instead you know yeah what do you I, think? I think I can properly answer this question in 15 years I think then, <laughs> then I'll be able to look yeah. back and be like also I am on a high I feel like we're both on highs because we just got first yeah. so it's like mm, okay is it worth it would you say saying english is worth it in the end i mean i've met so many amazing people i guess she's you know you're, you're included in that um, but like <laughs> lecturers or academics you know people i would i like to think i'll stay in contact with yeah um i'd say i'd say yeah now i'm at the end because i loved yeah i've loved the experience as a whole but like I said, I feel like I haven't learned many practical skills. But then I suppose you don't go into an academic degree like English thinking you're gonna it's come up with knowing how to like video edit and you know. I think it'd be naive to probably think that, wouldn't it? Although as much as I will com absolutely complain about it, it would have been naive yeah. to think that I'd go in and that's so true. And yeah, come that's out true. with a certain. But mm. like you've got to know what you're going into, and I knew what I was going into, and you know I'll complain. But yeah, yeah. It is what it was. Is everyone super pretentious? Ella's so pretentious, honestly. So pretentious. Most pretentious person I've I met. walk around with like my spectacles well, and like the chains. Lot of vlogging, vlogging. And I, I, I'm like vlogging and like mm. I have like a first edition copy of The Great Gatsby. Talking about gap yard. Talking about my gap yard. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, do you know what? Honestly, like no one. Mm. I don't think anyone is really. There's like the odd person. I think I can be quite pretentious. No. No. I think when you do Facebook posts, maybe. Oh, no, my Facebook posts. Well, that's because I'm all Talks form. very formally. But no, but like. LinkedIn. On a whole, on a whole. Everyone's quite down to Everyone's work. quite down to work. I think there's the odd, the odd person that I think, you know, but like that's, but sometimes I'll be sat in a so. seminar and someone will be spouting off about all the different books that they've read this week and I do think, 
Well, I think then that's just jealousy. If you, I think, suppose if you've done the reading, you want to let everyone know you've done the reading. I would. Like, you know, the, you know I mean? the odd week on the seminar, we've actually oh my god, for it. When you, and, yeah, yeah, it's actually, you've read the book, you've it's always the first, reading. Yeah, it's always the first week for mm -hmm. me. I'm always doing so well on the first week, and I put my hand up for everything. I'm like, oh my god. No, but if you do it in like week four or six, where a lot of people have tailed off, and then you think, fuck it, oh shit. And you think, shit, I'm gonna nail it. It does make you feel so good. Um, yeah, that's and then, true. Yeah, and then everyone else will be. It's like, almost Whoa. worth it for like the satisfaction you get. Mm -hmm. Did you ever consider dropping out and why? Did you? I actually did. Really? In first year, yeah. So I thought about changing to psychology. Oh, no. Yeah. And I'm so glad I didn't. I, honestly, I'm so glad I didn't because yeah. I don't know what I would have done with psychology. What are you thinking that? Uh, like first term of mm. first year. Oh. Because I think at the time we were studying Old English and I thought this is not what I signed up for. Yeah. Uh, what A-levels will help you with English Lit? Not Maths, Biology or Chemistry. Which sort uh, of ones you did? Which all the ones I did. See, I actually feel like the A-levels I did really helped with my degree. What ones did you do? It's Psychology and Drama. Well, yeah, that probably really helps with your degree. Because one yeah. of my modules was on drama and actually a lot of the texts I studied yeah. in drama A-level we studied like in our degree and with Psychology, when it came to like the language modules, really helped, yeah. really, really helped. Well, I probably wouldn't so, have English literature then, but yeah. English in general. Probably say maybe, yeah. maybe you could use philosophy, history would probably help as well. Um, um, it's just anything that sort of gives you knowledge on the past. Politics. Maybe, maybe, yeah, no, yeah. Because there's maybe. lots of political theory and stuff. Yeah, I think um, it's, it was, obviously it just depends what sort of avenue you want to go down yeah. with English, because every, everyone's, everyone's English degree honestly looks really different. Mm. Like, the, like, especially yeah. when it comes to dissertations yeah, and stuff. Yeah, dissertation, we've all done such. I mean, ours are actually not similar, but... Ours, like, ours are, like, weirdly similar. Yeah, yeah. So, so Joe, Me. you want to say what you studied for your dissertation? Uh, I did my dissertation on Thanos, you know, the big purple alien doo doo And then... Yeah. Oh, you should die, you should die. No, I should just yeah. disappear. Yeah. Well, we're literally Marvel, <laughs> we're literally Marvel We're nerds. Marvel, Marvel nerds. Someone's yeah. on Thanos and nihilism and, um... I can't, I've just blotted it from yeah, my mind. Yeah, I can't even remember what my... I couldn't even get passionate about it now. Nietzsche. Yeah. Death of God, God's dying. Yeah. That. By the way, I've got my disc over there. You can have a quick read if you want. I it? can't wait. Seriously. Do you actually want yeah. to have a flick? Well, yeah, well, when we're done. Yeah, yeah. okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I would just say anything to do with the past, really. Yeah. Right, anyways, we're going to round up the video because my camera's <laughs> flashing at me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thanks. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like a notification every time I upload a new video. You can find Joe if you want to be, you want to be found. Yeah, find me. What's your, so I'll leave your social media platform on screen. Joe underscore pattern on screen. On Instagram. Yeah. Leave that up. Um, yeah. yeah, give him a follow. Yeah. Why not? Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.